have uh, a series of missions to go to moon chandrayaan 3 is over now and 4 and 5 are in the design completed and we are seeking approval of the government we are looking at building the parthi andarisha station uh, that station will have five modules the first module launch is scheduled by 2028 that design is also completed uh, i have a full report which is again submitted to government for approval now then we have a mission to go to moon uh, land human being on the moon that of course it takes time uh, 2040 is a time but so we are looking at the steps and capability development in terms of technology the anman mission is scheduled uh, this year december so current uh, as far as the status goes the rocket is uh, already reached shar all the stages uh, the first stage uh, we call as 200 both have been prepared and ready Any future plans that uh, you can tell us about there are so many things you now uh, in uh, See, I told something in my speech today. Uh, the first and foremost is to rocket side. If I talk about, we have a rocket which is uh, LVM3, which has a four to four to five ton capability. But in the coming days, we need to double up or triple up in the and also bring down the cost. So today, the cost is uh, though high, it is you know competitive, but it has to be brought down substantially. So we are developing another rocket which will cost the same as LVM3, but offer twice or thrice the payload. So that process is already on. design is completed so we are going for a private public partnership model to realize that rocket so this is the first thing second we have uh, a series of missions to go to moon chandrayaan 3 is over now chandrayaan 4 and 5 are in the design completed and we are seeking approval of the government we are looking at building the parthi andarisha station uh, that station will have five modules the first module launch is scheduled by 2028 that design is also completed uh, i have a full report which is again submitted to government for approval now then we have a mission to go to moon uh, land human being on the moon that of course it takes time uh, 2040 is a time but so we are looking at the steps and capability development in terms of technology until we reach that that process will be initiated after few years of uh, from now but the initial investment that are needed to create the technology is already being put up to government in addition to that we have a series of missions for various users uh, departments ministries So at least 50 satellites are currently in planning to build over a 50 plus. I don't see 50, 50. Another scientific missions all inclusive. It could be about around 70 satellites. At least in the planning design phase is going on. Yeah, they have reached US. They are under. They have started their initial phase of preparation for training. Uh, so that will last for another three months. and um, after that they will have to go through uh, training in other facilities in europe and uh, in usa alternate facilities after that they will come back to india and one of them will uh, finally be destined to go to iss currently to next year middle they will be assigned who will go what is the status of gaganyaan unmanned mission sir gaganyaan unmanned mission is scheduled uh, this year december so current uh, as far as the status goes the rocket is uh, already reached shar all the stages uh, the first stage uh, we call as 200 both have been prepared and ready l110 stage was integrated at uh, mahendragiri iprc has already moved and reached shar last week we dispatched the final stage called c32 cryogenic stage that also reached shar now what he has to reach is the crew module the crew module is at uh, trivandrum vikrasarabhai space center currently undergoing integration the service module uh, is undergoing integration at uh, your rao satellite center and uh, the crew escape system has already uh, moved in many parts to sri garikot already so that way uh, the whole systems are reaching shar in another one month everything will be one to one and a half months they will be at shar then final testing integration will happen uh, probably the launch will be in december